Hi, I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director for Design World, and I'm here today with Richard Bull from Norgren. And Richard is here, he's going to chat with us about the IVAC, it's a new uh, solution from Norgren, and I believe that stands for Integrated Valve and Actuator Control. It does, yeah. T tell us a little bit about the IVAC. So essentially what the IVAC is doing is it's taking all the uh, typical components of an actuator, valve, flow controls, switches, etc., and combining it all in one unit. This gives the customer a number of advantages. The main advantage is energy consumption. Typically, this unit will use 50% less energy than a conventional system. It offers the customer a one-piece unit, which makes selection easier, makes ordering easier, installation quicker, and takes a lot of cost out of the installation and uh, the installation side. So, a unit that is, uh, you know, offers the customer many benefits. The IVAC is a hygienic unit, hygienic standards. It's, it's suitable for washdown applications, so anything food and beverage. Aesthetically. It's a, you know it's a lot neater to look at than uh, than most of the products out there. So, Richard, now is this the only version available, or is there like more of an industrial version if you don't need the wash down application? Uh, yeah, what we've done is also developed in it, as you say, an industrial version of this, which which takes the the elements of the product, uh, but takes away the hygienic wash down requirement. Um, what we found is when we spoke to customers about it, they like the concept, they like the idea, they like the uh, bringing everything together in one unit, but but often they didn't require the uh, the hygienic or the, the washdown element of it, and that was developed in line with this to complement this. So there, there is there is some benefit to kind of the uh, the sexier version of it as well. They like that to, to absolutely, that yeah, machine. yeah. Aesthetically, it's um, you know, it's a, some customers just like it purely for the aesthetic value. Interesting. Tell us a little bit about some of the uh, the internals. You've got some pieces, parts here to show us too. Okay, yeah, one of the big things with the IVAC product as well is that it's a combination of existing Norgren proven technologies. So, so what we wanted to do was use products or technologies that are proven and generally in industry. So we've got things like the um, glandless spool, okay, which is the spool for the valve. Again, a Norgren product that has been around for 20 plus years, well proven, known in the industry and used in the IVAC product. Within the pilot valves, we have FAS 10 millimeter solenoid valves, which again have been around a long while. Mm -hmm. FAS products that they develop themselves, pretty much an industry standard now, long lasting, proven products. Mm -hmm. Okay, within the units, we've got um, obviously the Norgren type PRA actuator, which again has been around for a long while. Inside the units, we've got the flow controls again, proven product, and the switches inside, which you can see underneath these, uh, these covers here. Richard, what about uh, air connections? Okay, so the IVAC is very simple. Um, it's got one single air connection. Traditional actuators will have an air connection at each end. This unit has one single air connection and will run the air internally. One exhaust, and then two for the electrical connections or the signals is one M12 connection. Mm -hmm. So that'll pick up the two signals from the switches and it will take the two signals to the uh, the solenoid valves to actually operate the, the, the main valve. What if, what if I'm a customer who has some other uh, solution and I want to spec this in? I mean, is it pretty easy to change out for for, for older technology or for you know the tra more traditional pneumatic technology? Pretty much so, yeah. Because it's a an ISO VDMA actuator. It fits within the ISO VDMA envelope, which is some people find hard to believe because mm -hmm. we've got the combination of the valves, uh, the switches, everything else in there, the flow control. So it's difficult to see that it, but the actual envelope size and the mounting size is a, to an ISO VDMA standard, so very simple to swap out, yeah. Impressive. Wonderful. Well, thank you for uh, spending a few, t a few minutes with us today, Richard, and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you.